okay, Xavier Architects, take a look. Uh, we just did this today in class, and some of you asked if I would make a video, so here we go. I'm just using a rectangle tool here, and I'm just going to pull out something that looks similar to a square here, just using this little rectangle corner to corner. But I can do the same technique with a freeform curve if I want, or uh, a circle. You know, it doesn't really matter. Any closed curve will do. So now that I've got my various curves here, uh, the first thing for this technique is to make them planar and actually turn them into surfaces. I'm sorry, they are planar now, but we want to make them uh, planar curves, which turns it into a surface. So that surface, planar curves with the curve selected. Do the same thing here. Hold down the shift key, select this one, same thing, right? Surface, planar curves, boom. And you can turn any curve into a surface. Okay, now that we have our surfaces and they're all planar, what can I do with them? Because it's rather boring if I just take this and I do uh, extrude surface and, you know, say, so, okay, uh, oh, it didn't, didn't even recognize that. Extrude surface, there we go. And then I just, you know, kind of click it up and I've got this solid, yeah, okay, that's very nice and all, but there's not much intrigue to it. So how do I make it a little bit more organic and more interesting to look at? Well, one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add more control points to this so I can manipulate the curvature of this. And the way that I can do that is by using a command called rebuild. So I've got the surface selected and I type in rebuild. And now it, it gives me the option to add some points here. Right now I have five by five. And uh, <clears throat> okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, across by one, two, three, four, five. So five by five, we can make that work, or I can go higher. I can go eight by eight. You know, you can see it just adds more uh, little grids to the to the mix. Say okay, and now it looks like it's you know a little more like an ice cube tray or something. All right. Well, I want to see and be able to manipulate the control points because right now it still just looks like one solid surface. So I'm going to type in points on in the command. Oh, look at this. Now I get these control points. And I'm going to click and drag through this group of control points here, and I can raise that up. Oh, that's kind of cool. And let me swing around here to the other side and do the same thing to these control points. Pull those up. And now we've got something that's a little more interesting. Okay, maybe like a skate park, you know, you could put inside of your street. Or uh, a pedestrian park where people can walk and sit up on the grassy knolls and, you know, plan the next assassination of a political leader, whatever. All right, once I've got this shape and it's interesting, I could also turn those points off. I could type in points off and it'll turn them off so it's easier for me to manipulate and move this around as one piece without accidentally warping it further. But now I want to turn it into a solid, because right now it's just a basic surface. So to turn that into a solid, I'm going to type in uh, offset surface. Offset surface. And I get these little arrows that show me that it's going to be offset in all of these different directions. Each of the control points gets its own little arrow, basically, uh, or roughly so. And I've got my distance, how thick I want this to be. I'll go ahead and stay with three and hit enter. And you can see there now I have this very interesting looking uh, solid. Okay. Much more interesting than what I had previously. And, <clears throat> you know, I wouldn't, if I wanted to re rebuild this, you know, it's asking me what do I want to rebuild. And once it's been made into a solid, I can't use that anymore. So it's really just for when it's a surface. Okay. 
So build your surface out. So here we'll try this one now. Rebuild. And I'll go with a smaller count of points. We'll go with five and five. And then remember points on. So I can see my control points. And I'm going to go ahead and lift these up like so. And then I'll take these and lift these up like so. And then I might even, I might even just take these ones in the middle, raise those up a little bit like that. Something along those lines. And if I wanted to make it super symmetrical, I could actually raise these points. I can move them up, right, with a with a measurement, like, you know, 1.5. And then I'll move it up a little bit more precisely so I can make sure that all of my points are symmetrical if I wanted them to be such. All right. And then once you have that going and you like the what you what what you've made there. Then again, I can just click on that, extrude surface, and it's wanting to know, I'm sorry, not extrude surface, offset, offset surface. I gotta break my bad habit. After you rebuild something like this, you have to offset the surface, otherwise it will not build it as a solid. It will just build it as an open, uh, series of surfaces. So there you go. That's kind of cool. It's like a potato chip. All right? But it's certainly more interesting than when it was just flat and one-dimensional. Okay. So play around with that and see what you come up with. Let's go.